Hey people, Intrude here, 3v3 Faction War, this is Cassia Lucian Redux and Orcs versus Eldar. There's an Eldar already, but first, the blue Orc team, a couple of mech boys, Olev, and this is Inokura. These are teleporting heroes that fight in ranged combat, puts out some good damage with a bunch of orky gadgets. And alongside is the Tenso as a commando knob, an infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orcus style begins with a twin link shooter. And that is Dark Riku and a Warp Spider X arcade teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat by default. Great for capping and harassing some powerful control. Finale with a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat. Some powerful disruption and support. I think we just missed their destructor cast on those shooters there. Round of the teams is Asmondeus with a Farseer support hero fighting in melee. Some powerful control and support smacking on a node there eastern vp is red central's red thanks to that warp spider but looks like they are off the field riku does have banshees but they probably got duckered in the face and ran away west side those guardians are very very low here comes something flanking its sluggers sneaky sneaky tenso those guardians are dead and the banshees need to leave because there's a commando and shooter boys and sluggers. The Banshees can't take them all on. This is risky. This is super risky. And they are okay, maybe? Yes, I think they barely made it out. One model. Sluggers got their burners up as they were chasing there. It was a decent destructor from the Warlock from long range. Nobody's capped the west side yet. Looks like the Orcs will get it, though. Farseer gets away. Oh, it's mines. Inakura is chucking mines around. Wait, did they not get any units up? I don't see any shooter boy bodies, and that would explain how Asmondeus was able to get all these central points. Oh, almost. Because they had to bash that node to get it, didn't they? Shuriken cannons on the field for all the Eldar players. Inakura. Did they buy power. No, oh, Olev. Olev got the power. Not sure what Inakura's up to. They have a big shooter, though. Are they going into double storm boys or something? That'd be amazing. I can't, I can't, I can't expect them to be going into looters immediately with so, so much space on that side to flank around. Warp Spider X arc is getting low. Has to teleport out and then runs. Here comes the Shuriken Cannon. Held up the orcs as long as he could. These are orcs with knob leaders. Oh, they didn't get suppressed though. Here come Howling Banshees. Aspect of strength. There's the war shout. Suppresses them both. And they get some good hits in. Only one model though. They only got one model, I think. Now the Banshees run. Oh, sneaky orcs. The Tenso using Hide the Boys to sneak them in as a global ability of the commando. Commando's down, by the way, over here. I didn't notice him go down. Because I'm good at noticing things. Inokura did indeed go straight into Storm Boys, which is fun. Maybe Storm Boys into Pain Boy and then Tier, tier 2. Mine's chucked in there. That is nasty. Throwing them at point bank range so they all bunch up. Banshee's still got on him, though. These ladies have aspect of strength as well. There's Guide up on the Shuriken. Storm boys are going to jump and Banshee's there to counter initiate, as is the Farseer, so we might see the Gravity Blade in Tier 2. And they flee. Why do they have debuff circles for? Oh, the Rangers with their pistols. Those Shuriken pistols debuff damage resistance now. Look at that. They mess up your damage resistance by 15%. Very cool. Meanwhile, back to the mid. It's going to turn blue for the Orcs. I think Commander's back to their feet. Mick Boy most likely teleported in and got him, maybe. Maybe they repurchased. I'm not sure. Double cap here for Eldar. Finale lost their Banshees, though. See a bunch of dead ones here. I'm not sure why the, Orc, the Warlock ran through them there. That was a bit weird. Now in on some shooters, getting very low though. Here comes some 
annoyed sluggers, but they read the grenade throw. Sure, can set up that might help them approach. Oh, sluggers are out there. They could be. They should be able to grab this. Just move the shuriken up. That forces these guys to retreat. And then maybe you can get that VP. East side. Orc trying to grab stuff. Banshees say no. They're using the rangers as debuffers at the moment. Which is cool, I think. Stormboy's on them, though. Banshees giving chase. They've already used their washout. Oh, why did the Stormboys retreat? Oh, the Shuriken, I think, was there. Shuriken's gone now, though. I'm not sure why the Shuriken retreated, either. Very odd. Oh, it's double Stormboys for Inakura. Awesome. Nice grenade. Who was that? That was Dark Riku's grenade there. Heavy Gauge Death Spinner for the Warp Spider Exarch. Levels to two. Can shut down enemy heroes with this. Or like a squad leader, you can get a knob with it and mess them up. Level 2 Farseer. Banshee's still level 1. There's tier 2 for Finale, tier 2 for Asmodeus, and Dark Riku just went as well. And they're on the power for a bash in the southeast. Very large map east to west, this one. Which I guess fav any large map kind of favours Eldar a bit because of huge mobility potential with webways and stuff. Shooters grab the point. Mech boy electing not to tie up this thing in melee with a teleport because of the banshees hanging around. Do they have electric armor? No electric armor. Olev and Inakura with those mines up. Forcing those ranger purchases. Although Finale doesn't have one. They can't see this stuff. Oh look, they knew where they landed. And they chucked a grenade in. McBoy grabbing the Eastern VP level 3 now. Double Storm Boys into tier 2, I guess. Yep, there's a tier 2. Sluggers might wipe. Shooter Boys desperately trying to melee him so he can't shoot, and it worked. It bloody worked. Here come Rangers to force some melee combat. Not sure what their melee damage is like. They sure have fancy looking swords, though. And I guess it worked. Wait, did their swords debuff as well? Or did they shoot him for a split second there? Because I definitely saw the debuff circle. 1, 2, 6 to 500. Eldar haven't lost a VP yet. Death Dread on the way for Olev. Falcon on the way for Dark Riku. And a Wraith Lord for Asmodeus. Never sure if you should say Asmodeus or Asmondeus. Is it day or D? Here's an Autark jumping around all over the gaff. Good special too. She's got a pretty good special. I think it's 360 knockback. It looks like it, but it's a really quick animation. Shuriken sets up. There's not a whole lot that Olaf can do about it until the... Oh, here's a Death Thread. Until the Death Thread shows up. Or maybe just wait for a big old flank from the Tenso. The Tenso's down to two units though. Autark gets away. Warlock barely makes it out. The Sluggers now have their knob leader. And that fella is mean. The big power melee knife. East side. There's that Wraith Lord. Bad, bad news for the double Storm Boys. He'll tear through them pretty easily. Their knob leaders have heavy melee weapons, but they don't want to fight a big melee walker. Autark drops in. She provides a constant damage resistance buff. I believe it's 15%. And she's great at jumping around, tying things up, that kind of thing. Can do that heal jump as well. Doesn't seem to heal very much, that jump. Seems to be a very, very small heal. 71 to 468. They finally get some VPs off the Orcs counter. But the Eldar are way ahead here. Way, way ahead. Death Tread with burners and bits. Now, as the Orcs, do you try and focus just two of the VPs now since you're so far behind? Try and do it a bit safer. Banshee's getting knocked around a bit. There's the war shout, though. 
or Tuck has her fusion gun, which is fun. Oh, cool, the boys from the mech with that new effect that they put in. Didn't know what the heck I was looking at there for a second. Uh oh, Death Dread in base. Banshees don't make it. Fusion gun is getting shots though. But uh, they are super depleted here, Finale. Where is the Warlock's body? Right there. Should get revived, I think. Tank Buster's mid, says Riku. I can't select them. They're inside the war truck somewhere. Uh oh. And there's the war truck. I guess his Wraith Lord isn't getting away. Can't time both up. Oh, the Farseer's on one. Wraith Lord needs to go after those tank buses there. They're trying to. Why are they so slow? Oh, they're stepping on those mines. Those mines snare vehicles for ages. Down goes the Wraith Lord. Finale had a shuriken, cancelled it. Another death tread for Olive. I mean, why not? Oh, well, there's a Falcon. That's why not. Falcon does do anti-vehicle damage. Also got some fire dragons from Riku, but Oleb is still going for that second Death Dread. This one's being chased down by the Autark. Oh, the Falcon's not chasing. These guys have been forgotten about. There we go. Oleb retreats them. They're trying to micro the Death Dread away, I think. Can they get it, surely? Yep. Autark doing a great job on that chase. Not many units can chase you that effectively with some anti-vehicle. That is super effective. Now they're bashing power. And now they flee. There's the fire dragons with their fire pike exarch at the front there. Reinforcing off the falcon, of course. Ortak needs to be careful. Look how fast. Her health just seems to fly down more than anyone else. Meanwhile, it is indeed the Gravity Blade, but they all retreated before it took effect. Levitation field there, and rune armor's in as well. Tank busters be bashing power. Rangers got some rifles now. Looking for a grenade, these guardians. No, not looking for a grenade. They're saving their grenade. Over on the west side, there is indeed another death dread. Orcs take the VP. There's a triple cap for the Orcs. Finale having a really rough time. Riku needs to basically stay here, I think. Maybe use the warp spider to try and control this VP and otherwise send everything west. They can't get their power... They gotta hold on to the power, I mean, they can't just have it be bashed all the time. Why is this chase so weird? That was a weird chase. The knob leader didn't seem to want to attack. Warp spiders. Oh, they got stunned just as they teleported. Rangers having to make it out as well. Here comes the Autoc. That disruptive and healing jump, it also gives you a small damage bonus for a while, I think. They get glowing hands, as you can see, those blue glows. Now it's worn off. Bomber boys, a little bit of friendly fire there, guys. There's the jump. Right into a levitation field, yep. But they again, they were able to retreat before they got pulled into the air. Otherwise, that would be done really bad. To the mid. Oh no, Falcon's down. Death Dread gets it, really? Oh, there were also tank buses, that's right. Walk Spider, I guess, couldn't get on those tank buses quickly enough. Not sure where he was. Double cap for the Orcs. They haven't lost a VP for ages now. Seer Council on the way for Finale. So they did go Tier 3. Flash gets on the way for the Tenso. More Warp Spiders for Asmodeus. That's going to be pretty effective, I think. Especially if they can keep them split so they can't both get jumped by Storm Boys. 
and both stunned. Ortok's been awesome over here. Sluggers might wipe. Think maybe they will. Those buff on kills from the Ortok. I assume it's just the same. I assume they just all have the same on kill buff, like librarians and Ortoks and stuff, but I'm not actually sure. They might be completely different. Seer Council's up for finale. Not going to help them against the Death Dread that much, but they'll tear through everything else over there in Olev's army. Bomber Boys, a good shot. It's quite quick when you're at that, that kind of range, the Bomber Boy. Hard to teleport that fast. Hits the Levitation Blade that time. Levitation Field, I should say. More Storm Boys, though. Can't use it again. And I think those Warp Spiders were already teleported. There's a Psychic Storm, though. There we go. Warp Spiders are able to get away. Forces the retreat with the Storm. 71 to 131. Been a fun fight on this side. Back to the west side. Death Dread is super far forward. Not really threatened until Riku shows up with Fire Dragons and stuff. Seer Council on capping duty. 71 to 107 now. They made up like 400 VPs. The Orcs. Oh, I thought we were going to see generator friendly fire there. Barsir grabs the Eastern VP. Webway going up. That's Osmodeus's. Maybe. Yeah, I think that should be a little bit further away. Inakura doesn't have any spotters right now, though. No detector units. But the Tensor just needs to show up with their shooter boys and they'd spot it. I think it could have been a little bit further away and they might just run into it there. Not sure what the tank buses are up to. Do they think there's a web? They must know there's a webway over there somewhere. They're trying to find it. Or it is going for a long flank to get to that power. Good hit with the levitation field. Doesn't seem to do that much damage when it throws them away, but just keeping them in place for that long is incredibly dangerous because if there's melee units around, they are able to hit them even though they're in the air. It is kind of smack. Yep, went for a power bash. And it was bashed all right. West side, big old fight. Well, the end of a big old fight. Seer Council tearing through orcs while the Death Dread tears through them. Another one of those point blank mine throws there. Quite nasty. Flash gets with blasters. Also very nasty. 71 76, 1 to 1 cap. And a looted tank now for Inokura. There's a haywire grenade. Farsia can get a heavy melee weapon. Oh, she's in the mid now. Doing some gravity stuff. Nice grenade right at the feet of the knob leader. They have the mid. Not sure why these guys are running towards the flash kits when they're trying to tie them up. Fire Dragons go for the war truck. Getting it pretty low. But they were taking too much damage. 58, 76. Fire Dragons are heavy infantry as well, I believe. So they'll take extra from those blaster shots. Heavy infantry does not like psychic damage. Rangers must flee. More Fire Dragons on the way for Riku. Done well so far. Nob squad on the way for Olev, though. Seer Council should do well against the Nob squad. But they could give them... They could get Super Tough Beam or something. They already have the battery pack. Can they get the Death Tread down? Ortox seems to be shooting other stuff for some reason. Shoot the Death Tread woman. No. Nope. That was very weird. She had like three or four bursts there that could have finished off the Death Dread. And they didn't. There we go. Maybe there was some weird targeting thing while she was moving. She got it. She got it done. She's done really well with that fusion gun. We have an orky shotgun, you guys. Special shooter is up. 
sneaky infiltration kit. Triple cap for the Orcs, though. GG says the Tenso. What is this? Orcs better trying to get in the mid. I don't think they have time. There it is. Orcs get it. After like a 400 VP deficit. They were incredibly solid after that. Able to just put out so much pressure on all the VPs at all times. Some heavy losses for Finale. I don't think it was the right plan to go tier 3 when they did. But they went for it. Hoping the Seer Council would make a huge difference. But they did not sadly for them. Improved targeters for Riku. They had level 5 Warp Spider. Level 3 Warlock for Finale. Level 5 Farseer. It was a fun fight on the east with the double Storm Boys. Olev level 6. The Commando level 4. And a level 5 mech for Inokura. Who had a knob squad on the way. And that's a lot of fusion gun action here. Well there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Big thanks to these players for playing us a faction war. And the Tenso for putting these lobbies together. I'll see you guys next time.